The world is a very strange place, but what's even stranger is the creatures that inhabit it. And yes, that includes humans, which are probably the strangest Earth creature of all, if not the most destructive. But we're not here to talk about your weird next door neighbor. Today we're going to take a look at 10 of the strangest animals that are truly hard to believe are actually real. Make sure you stay tuned for number one. I'm pretty sure it'll remind you of someone you know that had a little bit too much of the bubbly. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle No, you aren't looking at an overgrown tick. What you are looking at is actually, believe it or not, a turtle. Cantor's Giant Softshell is an exceptionally large freshwater turtle, with individuals known to reach over 1 meter in length and weigh more than 100 kilograms. Sadly though, these turtles are on the brink of extinction. This strange looking turtle is also referred to as the Frog Face Softshell due to its odd facial features. These turtles have an extremely large distribution from Bangladesh to the Philippines and Borneo, and it is possible that it actually comprises more than a single species. It is primarily a freshwater turtle, but unusually for most freshwater species is also found in brackish coastal waters. Cantor's giant soft shell is under threat from harvesting by local people for meat, accidental killing, and persecution from fishermen when caught in fishing gear. And the destruction of its freshwater and coastal habitats, of course. Number 9. Akmela Nana. In the rainforests of Borneo, the smallest land snail known to science ekes out a secret existence in limestone cracks. At least that's where researchers think they live. Scientists have only ever found their shells, as well as translucent granules of 0.60 to 0.79 millimeters high scattered at the base of cliffs. The team behind the discovery has named the minute gastropod Akmala Nana and described it as an article published online in Zookeys. Unlike insects, snails don't specialize on particular food sources. Instead, they separate into different species based on the chemical and physical properties of their habitats. Thanks to its tiny size, a nana can probably fit into crevices other snails can't reach, vacuuming up bacteria and fungi that grow on wet limestone. It now holds the title of world's smallest snail, beating the previous record holder, Angustopola dominique, from the Chinese province of Guangzhou. That one was discovered earlier this year and measured just 0.80 and 0.89 millimeters, respectively. Number 8. Pink See-Through Fantasia the Enipanaceae's Eximia, also dubbed the Pink Sea through Fantasia, was a previously unknown member of the swimming sea cucumber species up until recent discovery. The creature was discovered in 2007 by a team of marine biologists about 2,500 meters deep in the Celebus Sea in the Western Pacific Ocean. Scientists and photographers came across the creature while on an expedition to explore biodiversity in the Celebus Sea, supported by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Clearly an animal that doesn't know the concept of too much info, the pink creature earned its name for its transparent skin that clearly displays a show-stealing arrangement with its intestines, mouth, and anus entirely visible from its outside. The sea cucumber, like other bioluminescent animals, is able to emit light. It uses this effect as an alarm to expose itself and potential predators in times of an attack. There still remains much more for experts to learn about the creature to date. Number 7 the squid worm. The squid worm looks like a fusion animal of half squid and half worm. In fact, it's all worm, a member of the group that includes familiar earthworms and leeches. It just happens to have 10 long tentacles on its head. The tentacles are elastic and extendable, and they can be longer than the squid worm's 10 centimeter body. Two of them, the yellower ones, are used for feeding. The other eight are used to breathe or possibly to feel its way around. Its head also carries two feathery brush-like structures called neutral organs that act like a nose picking up chemical smells in the water. Its formal name, Tethethadrilla same, means squid worm of the Sama, the name of the people who live in the local Philippines island where they were first discovered. The name was suggested by the Filipino islanders that took part in the expedition that discovered the animal. Using remote-controlled submarines, scientists explored the depths of the western Celebes Sea off the eastern coast of Borneo. The squid worm lives in one of the richest but most mysterious layers, the Dermosol Zone, just above the ocean floor. It's the largest habitat on Earth and a haven for undiscovered life. Here, animals can easily evade collection devices toward along the sea floor, while staying out of the reach of mid-water nets dragged overhead. To appreciate the richness of life in these waters, you need special submersibles, which can move about easily and collect local animals without damaging their frail bodies. Number 6. The Sea Angel 
Although their moniker would certainly suggest an otherworldly creature, the sea angel is actually nothing more than a pelagic gastropod mollusk, without the protective shell that typically characterizes other mollusks. In other words, it's a snail that lost its shell and learned how to swim. The feet of these free-swimming organisms have evolved into wing-like appendages, hence their name, to help them swim through the water column. They feed almost exclusively on sea butterflies, a small pelagic swimming sea snail that propels itself through the water with similar-like appendages. However, it also has the tiniest advantage by the presence of a shell. However, the shell is no deterrent for the sea angel, who will urgently pursue its prey and consume it from the shell using a series of hooks and a tooth radula. I suppose technically this makes sea angels cannibals, as the creatures that they feed on are their fellow pteropods. And last but not least, due to its transparent body, the entire act of feeding is visible from beginning to end. Like that one scene from Kevin Bacon's Hollow Man. Number 5. The Australian Peacock Spider. Always seen with a body completely covered with wild colors and exuberant patterns, Australian peacock spiders are truly a sight to behold. In addition to their spectacular coloring, the males are known for their crazy dancing courtship rituals. Male peacock spiders have evolved spectacular iridescent fans on their hindquarters, and fancy dances to show them off. The dance of each species is unique, but most of them involve sensual leg waving and booty shaking. As if that wasn't enough, a male also periodically pauses his dance to drum on the ground and occasionally on the female's head. Spiders don't have ears like we do and instead hear through organs on their legs. The drum beats vibrations travel across the ground and up the legs of the female, which is apparently pretty attractive to them. The arachnids are vivid but tiny at just 3 to 5 millimeters in size. But don't let their diminutive size fool you. Like almost all spiders, peacock spiders are venomous. But that doesn't mean they're dangerous to us humans. Their little jaws are so tiny that they couldn't even puncture our skin. Humans are safe, but crickets and other spiders are not. Like all jumping spiders, the peacock spiders don't build webs. They instead stalk their prey like lions, and when the time comes, they pounce and can take down prey three or four times their size. Number 4. The Pangolin. Pangolins are sometimes called the scaly anteater, and with a very good reason. Instead of being covered with fur like most other mammals, pangolins are the only known mammals with scales. Their habitat covers parts of Central and West Africa, India, and Southeast Asia. They inhabit tropical forests, dry woodlands, and the savanna. Some pangolins spend their time up in trees and others sleep in burrows underground. The name pangolin is derived from the Malay word penguling, which means rolling up. This is a reference to the animal's defense mechanism of rolling up into a tight little hardened ball when they are under threat. Rolling up creates a hard, spiky, impenetrable ball that can defeat even the jaws of lions, tigers, and leopards. However, by cruel coincidence, it is this same defense mechanism that makes human capturing of the pangolins as easy as picking up a ball. Even more sadly, these insectivores are one of the most illegally trafficked animals in the world. Their scales are thought to have medicinal powers in parts of Asia, and though an international ban exists on their trade, the numbers of wild pangolin have dropped drastically as a result of poaching. Number 3. The Bilby. 20 million years ago, the Bilby branched off from the Bandicoot family, creating a marsupial that looks like a combination of a piglet, a rabbit, and a bandicoot. Today, the Bilby enjoys iconic status as Australian's version of the Easter Bunny. Each April, chocolate bilbies populate store shelves down under in an effort to raise awareness for the native animal that has lost some 80% of its population in the past 200 years alone. Bilbies live in the desert, but that's more by force rather than choice. The species used to live throughout Australia. However, development to introduce predators and introduce competitors for food and shelter have changed its range dramatically. While they are able to live in all sorts of environments, bilbies are found only in a few remote parts of Western Australia, Western Queensland, and the Northern Territory. In December of 2018, 30 captive bred bilbies were reintroduced to the wild inside a predator-free enclosure in New South Wales. The last time a wild bilby was spotted in the state was 1912. They're also vulnerable to extinction, by the way. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at an animal that if it weren't already featured in this channel before, you would definitely think someone made up. Number 2. The Merry River Turtle. With its green hair and the fact that the Joker movie was such a huge thing, you'd think someone thought it funny to give this guy the Joker hairdo. But as we've proven time and time again, the truth is way stranger than fiction. With fleshy barbels like spiked piercings under its chin and an uncanny ability to breathe through its genitals, the Mary River Turtle was thrust into the international spotlight overnight. 
Named to Queensland and the Sunshine Coast River that it's named after, the Mary River Turtle has a head crowned by vertical strands of algae that also grow on its body. In addition, it sports face furniture in the form of long, fleshy growths under its chin. However, perhaps the Mary River Turtle's most unusual feature is its ability to breathe through its genitals. The turtle has gill-like organs within its cloaca, a multi-purpose orifice used by reptiles for excretion and mating that allow it to stay underwater for up to three days. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, the bald yakari. South Americans reputedly nicknamed this poor bald monkey Mono Angles, or English monkey. This was in honor of the first sunburned Britons to visit their homeland. Whether or not that is a myth or reality, the bald Yuakari Scarlet Pay does resemble that of a holiday maker who has fallen asleep in the sun. During the rainy season, this vulnerable species lives high in the treetops of the Amazon River Basin, but it retreats closer to the ground in the dry season to forage for nuts and seeds. It's most easily recognized by its red face and bald head, from which it derives its name. Some people compare them to old men and babies because of their baldness. There is no denying this species is uniquely handsome. The striking crimson color is caused by blood flow beneath the skin, specifically a thinner epidermis coupled with a higher concentration of capillaries in the face. The redness of a female's face is correlated with her estrogen levels. The redness of a male's face is indirectly related to his testosterone levels, at least according to a recent study. A redder face indicates a healthier monkey, since their faces like ours grow pale when they're ill, particularly with malaria which is rampant in their habitat. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the like button and maybe even subscribe to us. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.